Hi Spatial, it is Neo here. Uh, I've watched all of your Ash game and uh, we can, let's go over it now. Uh, I'm excited to try and go through with it with you. That's fine. I don't mind the dynamite here because it forces the sig back. I just wish it was a little bit larger. But there's not much you can do about your team them not grouping up. I also wish that we could have possibly had it for this high ground here. Or in this angle right here. This is also a really good chance to try and dynamite. I So I don't mind. I want us to try and hit this dynamite, but this is kind of a mixed bag because if we stay here and try and hit it, this widow will definitely dink us. So I don't mind that we didn't get it and we went back. I'd be even scared to re-peek this because she could know we're down here and just hold this angle for us in particular and better widows will do that but getting a dynamite here will be huge it's just this widow we got to be scared of so one two shots maybe throw a dynamite and then we got a bail and switch to a new rotation so I'm, I'm always scared to double peek a widow um the other angles we can play is over here this is really only going to be okay for us if we have the mercy with us because this range is just a little bit further than um ash wants to play we also have of course this high ground but one thing i don't like about this high ground is there's not too much natural cover it, as we're slowly pushing them back which we are we could maybe try and play like literally right here and then um, get some shots in and then go over this way the real key is if the mercy is going to stay with us or not if she is um, then we don't have to worry about Sigma spam from this angle and we can try and get all of the people on the high ground if we get um, killed this is a pretty easy angle for Mercy to try and res us so it's just a few conditions of like oh I don't I don't mind this we just don't have that much of a strong angle especially after they've fallen down to this next high ground which they have um, like I said this angle is okay but the problem is we're not as effective so we kind of have to have the Mercy with us if we're over here and same thing with over here but i want us to try our best to get into these positions as much as possible i also don't mind like hugging this corner it's just scary having a sigma in our face and then as they slowly get pushed back uh we can finally take up this high ground but i really want us to thinking about high grounds thinking about like does the widow know where i am because she can easily take our head off um and am I getting enough damage or do I need to start rotating forward? I will say having watched the rest of the game, I think that we can generally play a little bit further back. And I'd rather us deal with having a little bit too much fall off because our aim is pretty good. If we just chill for a second and hit headshots, even from those ranges, there's a higher chance of us staying alive or being in a position where we can get rezzed than not. That's fine. I also want us to try and avoid dynamiting the tank so much. Um, that that case it's okay, but it, it, it's not as much damage on the tank as it would be the pressure on a support. Like a dynamite on, on Brig would be massive. Because it basically negates all of her inspire. So like here, if we can get it onto the Brig. I like that we coached out though. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Fine, good res. So now I would uh, coach left for a few reasons. Uh, coach, well, I would coach gun this way and shoot herself this way. Um, one, because I hear the Brig. I hear that she's above us and Brig is a melee hero. Uh, so the best we can do to stay out of melee range, we could get over here. This gets us out of the sig angle and we can try and get some shots on the Brig. And if she tries to push us, and we get keep going this way, she can't get healed by Ana. The other thing is I want us to start rotating this way. So that way uh, they are now getting pressured from this angle, like here. And they're also getting pressured from our team on this angle. So they're slowly going to have to push this way. So that way they're no longer getting pushed this way. Okay, I hope that makes sense. I wish I had a pen tool. I guess I could do this. Yeah, so if we're shooting them that way... Uh, and our team is putting pressure this way, they'll slowly force that way. And then our team can start taking space and then hopefully we can go and get that opposing high ground. But the biggest thing is this brig. And even though I have pre-watched it, it is a 15 minute VOD. So if you die to her, it I had forgotten. But we hear her, so I want us to go. No, we died to the Widow. That's fine, that's another reason. 
the more we take like off angles, high ground angles, the more their team suddenly has to split the attention. There's not a lot of cover where we were as well, which is why I want us to think about natural cover. I always want you to play like you don't have a tank. Very, very rarely do I want you to play with the tank. I don't mind this. I'd even consider dynamiting her. Um, it's kind of if we think we're being sneaky enough or not. Uh, since we're not crouching, I don't think the audio cue is enough. We can just throw a dynamite in here and, uh, and, uh, explode it. I guess shoot it. And there's no way for you to know about this, so I don't really mind it. That was a big shock, so. But I like that we went that way. So we hear the rally. Again, I want us playing a little bit further back. Uh, rally break can move really fast. And if we're over here, um, there is one, the mega, for us to try and fend for ourselves, And then two, we can just get some damage without being just so close. Because if she chooses to push us, she's going to get punished. She's going to be forced out of her Ana's LOS. She's forcing her tank to push even more forward. She's forcing somebody to go with her. So the further we play back with somebody who is playing very aggressive as a melee hero, the more resources they suddenly have to let out to to fight with us. See, because now we're in melee range of a brig. Good coach back. I want us to dynamite her. We definitely kill her here. Dynamite above. Nice try. No, keep pushing her. Keep pushing her. Even if she gets this mega, you have a mercy with you. She needs to die. She's in a very, very bad position. Definitely, definitely push her here. I think we could have even dynamited her a lot sooner in terms of right here. Just throw it right up here. Let it go. This huge burst, no matter which direction she is, she probably dies. I think... Hold on, I'm watching why it didn't hit. Uh, we hit a shield. That's what happened. But yeah, I would still go and push her or tell her far to push her. The Mercy will probably go with you and the far might follow. But she definitely needs to be punished. Even Dynamite, her top left here. Yeah, Dynamite. You know she's up there. Good ping. If you're going to use voice, if you're willing to use voice, definitely tell the far she's up there. That's an easy kill for both of you. Nice try. Still remember she's back there. This is she's such a big target. Uh in terms of like how much value you get if you kill her. Nice. This fight's probably lost, but these are still good picks that are gonna um enable us for next time. I I like the Bob as well. I Once we start feeling the sig, I would consider coaching up to this top left. So if we coach this direction. Um, he probably still kills us in all honesty. But it's a little bit better than what we're dealing with now. And it makes it harder for the Widow to kill us. And now we suddenly have this high ground. Which makes it a little bit harder for the sig to shoot us. Now oh, we were rocked. But yeah, really thinking about taking high grounds. I will admit, it's it's pretty hard on this first point. Um, it's much easier on defense. This is a very just strong defensive point. And people in Overwatch, they hate strong defensive points. That's why people hate Numbani. That's why people hate Dorado. It's why people hate Gibraltar. Anything that has a strong defensive position, people don't like it. This map included. That's fine. It's unfortunate he didn't get booped all the way back. But I'd be scared about walking back into him. Just try and stay at this range and keep shooting. Got the kill. We see the brig, be careful, start going backwards. I'd even coach her right here because coach gun is a shotgun, does a bunch of up close fast damage. Good. 
I'd be scared to peek twice, but luckily she's not as good. Oops. Uh, so now even here, it's really not our job to be on cart anymore. And Junker Queen is scary to face. I would highly consider uh, coach gunning over this angle. So now we can, now as our team uh, is shooting them from here, we can shoot from over here. So this is the primary threat angle. Um, I am stealing this directly from Kobe. Um, so we want to try and be at an opposite angle from the primary threat angle. So that's why I say we can try and be over here. The only thing about and shoot like right over here. The only thing I don't like about this is Junker Queen is a melee hero. So she, this is pretty close for her to be able to come and uh, just access and then suddenly we're very dead. So if we coach over here and just try and work our way over this way or maybe we just cross as the cart gives us some cover and then as we're over here we coach gun over to this way and now we can try to shoot from this angle. Ideally uh, it's really good to try and hit the enemy team from 90 degrees from their primary threat angle. So this is the primary threat angle I want is shooting from over here. It doesn't always have to be 90 degrees. Even this smaller angle is still enough to force the Widow to have to look over here and over here. And if we're all the way over here, um, that's even further that she has to move her mouse. It's forcing the Junker Queen off point if she wants to push you. And you have pretty good aim, like I've said before. So having this threat of now the Junker Queen has to commit to push you. She has to get off cart to do that. It's much easier for your team to collapse on her as she does that. If you pick the Widow, then suddenly they have a lot less pressure of, oh, now your team has to play behind cover because they have a Widow. But if you pick her, which you definitely can, a thousand percent you can, uh, this will open up more opportunities for your team. So I want us to try and think about playing at uh, not just the directly primary threat angle. I wanted to think about playing off of it, but it is a little bit trickier with Ash because you do need to be a little bit further back when you do this because you don't have as strong mobility as say a Farah uh, or somebody else. So if you get too caught out, you will die. So it's a mixed bag. You'll learn it as you like think about it a little bit more. Just like, am I playing next to our tank is what I kind of want us to avoid. And let's watch it. And I know in these scenarios, it's, it's very, very nice to think like, oh, I have to play cart. But we don't really. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, that's unfortunate. And that's us dying to uh, a melee as well in terms of objects. So that's why I'm like over here would be good because we created that pressure. And now after they die, we can try and take this angle all the way up here. Um, because Torp can't hammer us from this angle, the Junker Queen can't axe us unless she lands a knife. And if she does land a knife, that's a cooldown she no longer has. Uh, if we're just playing over here, this is still okay, but a little bit scary because this is within Junker Queen melee. So I really want us to try and have this strong high ground position. because This will also give us opportunities to play behind this natural cover. If we go over here, our Mercy could easily heal us and this provides our Mercy and out. And... Also, it is much, much easier to land dynamites from a higher vantage point. Um, I've said this before, but if you are on a projectile hero, a majority of projectile heroes in Overwatch have upwards mobility because it is much, much easier to land a projectile from a high ground, from a, an upward vantage point than it is anywhere else. So like Hanzo has vertical mobility. Uh, Baptiste has vertical mobility. Junkrat has vertical mobility. Ash has it because she has uh, her dynamite. Farah, obviously. Uh, things like that. So it's it's not always true. Like Torb doesn't have upward mobility. But it is, a lot of them do because it's just, it synergizes so well with their kit being on the high ground with that like extra bit of damage. So I want us to use that to our advantage. So even here, now that we were rezzed, I want us to take in that position. And now that they're dead, I want us to push even further. This is terrifying. Uh, they've used Widow Sights. A better Widow definitely kills you here. Oh, 
So now here, I don't mind this push up because there's not really a strong high ground for us to go yet. I like that we hug over here in a second and we, we get this damage in and then we're able to coach gun backwards if need be. Um, later in the fight, I think that taking this high ground could be good. Obviously this angle isn't great for it. We could be up here even, but the problem with this spot isn't there, there isn't a lot of natural cover. I just want us to think about not being on the same direction our diva is, fight, uh, is fighting. So we could be over here, which is currently shielded, so I don't mind where we're about to go. But I just want that, uh, to keep that in our in our head. Ash threatens a very, very like straight line very, very strongly. So if it's the same one that our tank is already threatening, it, it lets the team back up in a not great way, and then we're not getting as much value as we could. I don't love this, Bob. We can um, listen for counters, so specifically sleep is such a, st a strong counter for Bob, so we can try and listen to that. And then this is also where primary threat angle comes in even further. Um, we want Bob to, again, be attacking at a completely different angle. I think here would have been a little bit stronger of a position, or here would have probably been the strongest position. Of course, it's a little bit harder to get that Bob there. Um, I think here, just like being here and then shooting it right there could be good. Um, but yeah, uh, this is just a little bit less good because we don't have everyone here we don't have enough um to build and continue this momentum that's what i really want us to use bob for is to continue to push momentum is to now suddenly force your enemies to look at the other direction because of that or you can try and use him to like charge or pin so if you're like um in a pretty rough position we can also use bob then to make sure if we're gonna die that the team isn't really fully down a teammate i don't like that as much because we're not really trading that evenly but it, it's a, it's a way we could do it um, so just, right now our team's not even on cart. <laughs> I want us to use this more mid-fight than beginning of fight. And I also want us to try and listen for sleep beforehand. It's a pretty distinctive sound. Um, so you can, if you want to talk in voice, that's not something you have to do. Uh, you can ask people to call it out for you. Or you can just try and listen to it for yourself. When did we use our dynamite? Yeah. I want us to think about dynamiting the tank less. I like how often we are using dynamite, so I want us to keep doing that. But trying to throw a dynamite right here or right here after we know it, this would really cinch up these kills. Especially when Bob is out, we no longer build alt charge when Bob is out. So we could try and save dynamite for afterwards to get this extra ult charge to force this widow off this angle because her health is ticking down too quickly and she has to go and get healing things like that also i'm a little bit afraid we're where we are in terms of natural cover but i th it's generally okay because we have coach because if we could like dynamite the widow there that would have been massive this is fine i need to keep backing up yep here i don't mind dynamiting the tank or we could dynamite the tor would be big yeah it's unfortunate there's a few reasons why this happened. Uh, the biggest one is that they just started building momentum. When we were pushing up, we didn't get picks. At, not you individually, but the whole team, we didn't get picks. And so suddenly it's four or five people pushing two, because really only two of you were up. Um, and then you guys can't kite back enough, and you're taking too much damage, and then you're still further kiting back. Uh, and then they use rally so it's it's just a lot of factors of oh we needed to push back a little bit sooner maybe we could have had bob to slow down their push there just to try and make sure we had another person up but yeah Oh, I'm scared of double. Yeah, I I'm always scared of double peeking a widow, of hard peeking a widow without cover. I mind it a little bit less if we have coach, but just taking a shot and coaching either direction here would have been pretty massive in my opinion. This is a good coach as well. This is a big beat, nice kill. We can start pushing up now. Yeah. Hmm. 
But since these people are still here, I wouldn't be afraid of pushing and trying to take this angle again. Um, this will be a lot of, oh, if the fight is here, I am here. If the fight is here, I am over there. If the fight is here, then I am, I guess, here-ish. Or we could still be here if we wanted. Or we could be up there. Uh, it's a lot of rotating to which high ground should I be on while this fight is taking place here. So since this is the same as when they're about to cap first fight, I want us here. This will be much harder for the melee hero Brig to get value on us. Nice. And then as, of course, we get these picks, then we start rotating to the next high ground. Okay, that fight's not gonna happen, then we can try and push up. Careful pushing up too much, good damage on the Brig, keep trying to damage her. I think we also disregarded our dynamite here a little bit. I liked what we tried to do, I just need us to follow through with it in terms of this dynamite on the sauna. Yeah, just cook it a little bit, like let it go a little bit further to the left. I also really don't mind if you just dynamite the brig every single time you see her. So if they push further, we can try and take this back high ground. I want us to, yeah, be very, very careful of hitting W at all here because these are a bunch of melee heroes. Brig, Ram, um, Torb is just scary from close range. He's not a melee hero, but he's just scary from close range. So be careful of hitting W. My bob, nice. Take this back high ground. Yeah, this back high ground, we don't take any of this Torb damage. And the Brig can't get us either. She has to literally go up the stairs. That's a lot of free range for us. That's a weird rally. I don't mind any of this. This is scary, Nano Ram. I even consider switching to a fast hero if you play them, but it's fine if you don't. So we're good picks. They're good damage headshots, I mean. Be scared of the brig. But yeah, she she got a few swings on us without us being aware she was even there. And we see her. I understand what you're trying to do, but I just uh we have to be aware of this Brig and then start damaging her here before we peek the Widow so that way we don't take extra damage and we can just take a deep breath and land these shots. I also understand the pressure to touch the cart, um, but that's like less so our job. And if we're going to die getting there, then it's the same as not touching it. So just deep breath, uh, aim these shots on the, on the Brig when you see her. Yeah, she gets three shots on us before, or four actually, before we look at her. Again, we hear her. A uh, good try. I wish we could have stayed closer to a life weaver and we could have taken the pedal, but I mean, in all actuality, it doesn't matter. I like this. I like the pick damage. I wouldn't even be fri afraid to throw the dynamite up there at the beginning. Dynamite's a lot of free all charge. I'd be scared of standing still for so long. The other thing I'm scared of is that we don't have too much natural cover when we're standing right here. I like- I don't mind it because this is a very good range for Ash. But we could also try and either hug this wall a bit so that way if we start getting pressured from that angle we can go here and get healed. Or we can be in this doorway, but this is a little bit worse range, but as they push closer, being here and getting these shots, so that way we have this natural cover. We're just very out in the open. Oh, okay. So, I like your instincts. I want you to get in a, in a stronger habit of when you see this teleporter come up, just coach them this way. Uh, just immediately coach them this way. Yeah, like that, but sooner. Uh, just almost like as soon as it comes up. It's also still a ram on you, but that's a good shot. I like what we're doing, honestly. Yeah. So now they have these abilities to 
get them up to this high ground with the sim tp so now everyone is suddenly a melee hero uh in terms of how they can get to you and how fast they can get to you if we are playing close to these edges like let's say we're playing in this angle like i said earlier with the um with this natural cover and they tp right here uh we can just coach them off and then suddenly they have to go all the way back up here in order to get us again or an expend a movement cooldown so either of those ways I just finished recording the VOD and then I look at my OBS and it says that I ran out of space. I ran out of space to save the recording so it has been stopped. Um, luckily I didn't lose the first 20 minutes that I recorded so let's do the back half. Um, which was honestly, which is sad because the back half is the more important half. It's the one where I suddenly start feeling like they start countering us so hard and we can actively play against that. So. Let's keep going. Um, this is about the timestamp that it was at. Uh, so, like I said, if we were um, here, we coach them off. They have to use a cooldown back to get to us. Okay. Uh, and I think that was all I was going to say. This just this angle is a little bit stronger than where we're playing. Just because I don't know if I've already said this. Um, this whole area is where the Widow can shoot us in a second. I think that's about to come up. Okay. Everything's fine. Ah, I remember this. This is a nice dynamite. And actually, this is exactly what I was saying about how it's easier to land dynamites from a high ground. It, that would be so much... That dynamite would have been so much harder to land if you were, like, right here. Or, like, like over here-ish. It just would have been way harder than the angle you're at now. But this is where I want us to start playing a little bit behind that wall. Especially when you see the Widow. We get one shot, we gotta move. We gotta rotate to that spot behind us. We have to save coach for the sim. And this. This is unfortunate. This is the exact... This is, is also why I want us to play over here. Because if we are right here, and they do this TP, and we're over here, we can again coach them off the high ground. The angle we were at, we ended up having to coach them this way so we've co we've coached them further onto the high ground we forced ourselves onto the low ground and it's much easier for them to just walk on us because these are three melee heroes um symmetra while she does have a long range ability she's primarily a melee hero it's like saying um if somebody says that symmetra isn't a melee hero that's kind of like saying that widow is great at short ranges like yeah she has an smg but clearly she's built for long range Yes, Symmetra has her, her uh, orbs, but she's built for melee. <laughs> um, it's much easier for them to walk on us now because we are on the low ground. Versus if we coach them off, again, they'd have to go up these stairs. We could take this time to rotate over this way and we can get shots on them the whole time. Because this, to where they are, very strong range for us as Ash. And we're fully, I think we get fully punished for this. So part of the reason why I think this is more important is because this side of the map is so strong for snipers. It is such good high ground defensive positioning that it makes snipers like basically essential on this map. Um, Widow and Hanzaro are slightly better because they have a, lar a larger effective range than Ash. Like peppering somebody from with as much drop off as you can get isn't as good. Luckily we have a mercy pocket uh, so that makes our range even good at, at a further distance. Yeah, so I, I want us to be trying to get used to playing on... Like, this angle is really strong. We definitely take advantage of it later. The Widow is staring at it hard, but that's fun because we have the Mercy Pocket. So even if we lose the 1v1, we get one shot to try again. I don't fully love playing this angle at this fight just because the team hasn't pushed... The enemy team won't have pushed up far enough for that angle to be good. But just keeping this oppressive angle, the amount of pressure we can get from our team fighting here and us fighting up here is very, very strong. I also want us to be able to play the high ground so that way if they TP to us, we can coach them off again. I love that dynamite. Very good. 
but now I'm kind of scared about our positioning. Yeah. And even here, when we coach, if we try and coach up a little bit, and we coach this way, we can probably try our best to get onto this high ground. And what is the sim or brig going to do? The sim can try and right click us, the brig can try and whip shot us, but we have a mercy with us. So if we can get up here, we save ourselves, we save our mercy, and we can get damage on these people as they try and rotate over. We know they don't have TP, so they don't have another resource to get up to us. And if we were playing up here and they TP'd up to us, we could have coached them back down. So this is why, especially when we're facing too strong... Uh, melee heroes who one has extra good mobility and well has even mobility to help the other one uh, We want to make sure we're playing like edges of high grounds Very nice shots. Dynamite? Good. I like us taking this angle again. Nice shots. Very good. We have to save Coach Gun all the time until they switch off a of sim. Okay. Um. This is so nitpicky, but I, I don't know when this will ever happen again. But if you see this happen, uh, you can just go and melee them, and it'll kill all turrets at once. So that way we don't have to use three bullets and take 50 damage. We can just kill them all immediately with a melee. Or if we thought she was going to come up too, we could kill her with a coach, I think. Yeah. I'm a little bit scared now that we have used coach, but I think we're going to be okay. Good damage. Our mercy's rezzing. Good kill. I want us to respect this sprig. Coach back. Nice. Nice. Careful of the widow. I'd be very scared to repeat her. That's fine. I would just wait. Um, I didn't test this. I said this uh, in the first recording. Um, I think we can shoot through these bigger ones, but not these smaller ones. I could be incorrect with that. But yeah. Uh, it's kind of okay if we lose a Widow duel once, um, because we have res. It just kind of is harder on our mercy when that happens. Because this is a very, very safe res. And I'm sure she does it. Yeah, okay. And now we see the Brig, we see the Diva. I would... I really like how we carried the momentum back here. I would take this back high ground because, uh... We, we've heard this Brig and this Diva scary. And if we go this back high ground, um, we kind of know, one, that our back is protected, and two, that our right side is generally protected. We could play here to make sure that the only angle we can see is here and we can get this free damage onto the Diva. This gives our Mercy a really nice place to play. Um, and we're hiding from this Widow. And then if we choose to peek the other direction, we can go over this way and we can try and shoot over there. And then when we don't want to take that fight anymore, we can go this way and force them to try and push you instead. Like, once you have this high ground, you're creating so much pressure on them to force you off, off of it. This is good. I'd still take that back high ground. good be scared of the widow i'd peek her once i'd be scared to peek this again in all honesty unless you want to coach up and go for it that way Whew. nice nice so we need to try and take these high grounds in between because here's the kind of unfortunate reality if we take this high ground now they definitely have boosters. They definitely have TP. And we don't have coach to counter it. So because we didn't take this high ground in the interim. Uh, and have our cooldown slowly tick back to us. If we take it now, it's still going to be really rough. I want us to do it anyway. Um, because these are three melee heroes. And this is a very, very bad spot for us to be in. And we've killed their Widow. 
Uh, and so we're still forcing cooldowns out of them by being up there. But we're kind of a sitting duck either way now because we didn't do it earlier. I, I'm kind of okay with it because we traded for the Widow. But I would still try and commit to, to pushing up there. Good dodge. Dynamite. Good. Nice. And now, now I would take this high ground again. Or we can take this, yes, the big hill. Very good. Be scared of peeking. Very nice that we were waiting. I love that we do not coach the D.Va here. Very good. And now we need to back up. Yep. Very good dynamite. Good kill. I don't mind it. Our team should win. Uh, we don't, but we should. Maybe we do. No, we don't. Okay. Good. It's unfortunate. I think maybe. This is honestly the first time I said it. We have a few options in terms of I think we could have been for sure safe. Um, the one I probably would have considered immediately and I see now that we still wouldn't have been safe is coaching up this way and then falling down this way where we hit earlier. The other one is going over and coaching this way and being here. Um, this would have been safer because there's a brig there but I didn't know that at the time so this would have been really hard for you to know too. And yeah, okay. So, uh, the biggest thing that I kind of want you to take away from this is to, I feel like we don't respect the melee heroes enough, so I want us to play a little bit further back than we probably want to, and on high grounds a little bit more, making sure we retake these strong sniper positions in between fights, um, and kind of knowing when we need to rotate to the next one. So, I don't know if I've already said this, because like I said, the initial recording was deleted, um, and I don't know what was said before this, but it's kind of like, oh, okay, when the fight is breaking out here, and let's say we're on defense, um, we need to be, like, here. So, if the fight's there, we can be here. If the fight moves forward, and it goes to, like, under the bridge, then we could be back here. Uh, and the fight's happening over here. This is still a strong angle for us to be in. And then as the fight starts rotating a little bit more, we could rotate to this back angle uh, if it's happening down this alleyway. And if it keeps going, then we can try and take this angle if it's happening right here. This is where the fight's happening. Or if the fight is happening, like, generally right here. This is a good angle. Um, stuff like that. Of like, okay, where do fights tend to take place and where should I position for those fights? And I want us to be somewhere with a high ground because that requires movement cooldowns for people to get to. And I want us to try and play around the natural cover provided by those high grounds. So whether that's just um, like backing up sometimes, obviously with this, it's these things. These are really good um, natural covers. But if somebody's directly below you, like let's say right there, and we're here, we can just go back this way. And then suddenly they can't see us at all. Um, so little things like that of... Okay, when is this starting to get too dicey and I need to go to my next usual spot? And that'll happen on every single map, which is partially why I like people getting VOD reviews on different maps, because maybe it's a place you didn't think about. Or um, watching streamers who play your hero, uh, because they have so many hours in the game a lot of the times, so well the higher ranked ones, that they know these positions by heart. They load into the map, they know I'm going to play here, 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 and here. Um, when the fight breaks out there, it's this, and very rarely are they going to be caught out or caught off guard because generally fights don't develop in weird places. Uh, it's, it's very rhythmic. It's a pattern. Um, so I want us to kind of start playing chess in a way of like when we need to identify what is killing us and why are they killing us. Um, and it, it, a lot of times it was the Brig. She just was able to sneak up on us in terms of like not listening to audio cues or she was just getting kited around by the Symmetra 
um, while we were looking at a different fight. And it's very hard to kill her once she's in our face because of how Inspire works, because of how much damage she can kind of do with her cooldowns, things like that. Um, so once we identify, okay, it's the Brig, then how do we start playing around that? Well, Brig doesn't have vertical mobility until she has a Symmetra. Well, okay, what do we do about how do we stop the Symmetra then? So kind of stuff like that. And I hope that was helpful. And uh, if you have any questions, let me know. If you want another VOD review, let me know. And yeah, bye.